Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Very glad to be back with you here on the YouTube channel. And we've got a question today. We're starting actually two new series here and in Twitter uh, as far as our practice exam questions go. I'm going to post the question in Twitter and then the next day answer it both in text and there and in a YouTube video. So if you haven't seen the Twitter question, don't worry about it because I'm going to show you the question here uh, in just a moment. Uh, I freely admit I got a couple of questions to catch up on today. That's why today's is dated April 14, but I'm posting it April 20. It's a long story and we don't want to go into that. So let's go ahead and head for today's question. And actually, just a quick reminder, my Twitter handle is CCIE12933. No big surprise there. I'd love to see you out there because what we do now is we total the responses and show you the percentages of people who chose each answer before we tell you what the right answer is. So with no further ado, let's get to today's question. Which of the following best describes the PC command ARP options that will display the L2 to L3 mappings? This is good stuff to know for Network Plus and for the CCNA exam, which is why we're starting it off with this particular question. Can you run just ARP? Can you run ARP A or ARP G? ARP A only or ARP G only? Good stuff to know. We're going to show you those percentages in just a moment, and then we'll go over the right answer as always. And just a quick note to those of you studying for the CCNA, obviously the world situation uh, postponed my launch of everything in March. So what we're doing instead here with the new study guides, we've got two new study guides coming out, the new video boot camp, flashcards and practice exams, and everything is on track for May. I will give you a more exact date as soon as I have one, but I got to be careful with that because Amazon's just a little backlogged right now, as is my formatter. So let's have at this question again, let's take a look at our percentage percentages here. And 70.6% of respondents went with ARP A only. Nobody went for ARP G only. And then eh, not quite split in half. 17.6% went with just ARP, mm, excuse me, and 11.8% going with ARP A or ARP G. And believe it or not, the correct answer is B, ARP A or ARP G. You can use either one of those to look at your L2 to L3 mappings. Now, let me bring up the command line real quick, and I've got a couple things here. Yeah, let's just run ARP. I'm going to run the actual command off screen, but you'll see it here. Or not. There we go. So you can see I just ran ARP. And what happens when you do that is it's going to give you a list of every option you have and in some cases a very long-winded explanation of exactly what it does. But this is good stuff because ARP is not quite as intuitive at the command line as you might think it might be. And the interesting one, here's the A option, and displays current ARP entries by interrogating the current protocol data. And I'm not going to read the rest of it to you here, but it's kind of a fancy, it's really a fancy way of saying it shows you the L2 to L3 mappings, the MAC address to the IP address. And here's the tricky part. Watch this one because the G option is same as A. So you can actually use either the A or G switches there to make that happen. Now let me go ahead and run A and I'll bring that up a little bit and you can see that's what it's going to look like. You can see that I've got some dynamic entries in there, some static entries in there. But to take a look at all of your ARP options, you can either run ARP A or ARP G, it's going to give you the exact same information. So that wraps up today's video practice exam. If you're watching on April 20, I'll actually have a few more for you later today as I'm catching up a little bit. And then we will start our daily postings after that. But again, I invite you to join me out on Twitter at CCIE12933 so you can help us get more people in there and have your choice registered in those percentages. Thanks for watching today, and I will see you actually later today with some more practice exam questions for both your Network Plus and CCNA 200 301 exams. See you there.